Pia Kramling drew her round six game against Vasily Ivanchuk. Pia has been coming to the festival ever since its inception every year for 18 years. We are delighted to welcome the Swedish Grandmaster. She joins us in our studio. Pia, you had a draw today with Ivanchuk. Uh, first, tell us a little bit about how the game went. Yeah, no, I was um, very happy to, to play with him, of course, and also how the game went. It looks like, you know, we were changing queen quite early, but I have more space, so a little, little bit more uh, easier for me to play this. And I was just, just happy uh, with what happened in the game. And then when we made 30 moves, he offered me a draw. So I was just, I was a little bit, you know, surprised. I, I, I thought he would keep on going, but I guess it's, it's, it's maybe even a little more pleasant for me to play this position than for him, so, so it, how, how it was. <laughs> right, and going into the second half of the tournament, uh, how do you evaluate your place so far? Oh, my play. No, I, I'm happy with some of the games, some of the ideas I had. And, uh, but of course, no, not all of them. I, I noticed I have played slowly and then, you know, when you play slowly, it's easier to make mistakes. But in general, I, I'm, I'm happy and I try just to focus on the games, to find the happiness, to find my ideas. Mm. A creative play from your side, but also tell us about uh, playing in Gibraltar. Mm. Oh, it's lovely. I really love to come here. It's a little bit like, like a home for us, for the whole family of us. So we have been coming here. Uh, this is the 18th time we, we play this master tournament. So it's a lot of time. And we came also for the junior tournament. So we've been here every year, yes. Now, this is the 18th edition of the Gibraltar Masters, so you have basically come every year since the start. Yes, we came every year since the start. So we have seen the tournament from the very start and how it has been growing to, from a small tournament to become uh, the strongest open and just very, very lovely tournament. And I really, I really enjoy to be here. It's such a nice place and it's such a nice... It's so cozy when you play this tournament. You have all this social... Um, program in the evening and I really like that this is a tournament where everyone can play. You don't have this rating limit. Everyone has a chance to play here. Everyone has a chance to play um, ex-world champion or a very strong player. And uh, so, so it's so nice. And of course, uh, here they support women very much. And I just think that all tournaments would be so much nicer, so much more fun to play. If it was like this everywhere, that we could see so many women play like we see here in Gibraltar. So it, it's just very, very important. This is a very big message from your side and because you also won the women prize uh, mm -hmm. here in the Gibraltar Masters. And like you said, it has over the years become one of the strongest, mm -hmm. but now it's also the home of women chess. Mm, yes, no, no, really, because of the support they have been given, and I, I really believe in this idea that we all play together, you know, men and women, and uh, and but you need to support the women because we are still so very few, so it needs some time before the number gets up, and I guess everyone you see that that you know the atmosphere, everything is so much nicer when there's lots of women playing and lots of women, you know, all ages like with the men, you know, all, all ages. So it's just very very lovely. And do you think one of the ways to promote this is to have a prize fund like in this event, a high prize fund for the women? Yes, no, I think absolutely that you need to give a women special advantages because we are still so few. It could be with prize funds, it could be giving conditions, with, with lots of different things, but we really need to do that to support women chess. Mm. That's wonderful to hear, Piana. Also, you come here with your husband and with Anna. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us about that, traveling to Gibraltar as a family, but also playing the tournament. Yes, no, it's so, uh, I'm just so happy that um, our daughter Anna is playing chess. So she has been coming with us from the very start. She was like, just a little baby when she was here the first time. And she was um, growing also with the tournament. And I think she was maybe six when she played the first time. And uh, yeah, 
they had this beautiful wooden wooden board and without the numbers and letters and then they had to change it because she didn't know, she didn't know how to write the score sheet and she was taught to write the score sheet here but a score sheet here in, in Gibraltar so I guess the, that was the first round the second round they gave her a plastic board and that was <laughs> easier so it has no it has really been lovely that we all can come here together all three of us and um, I, I really love jazz the same is with my husband Juan, we really love to play chess. We have keep playing for ages all the time, going from tournament to tournament. But we also brought Anna with us since she was very small and she, always, she went with us almost all the time. And I'm so happy that um, even when she has been in the chess world from very start, that she likes to play because it could have been the other way around. When you are forced into something, it could be that it's too much. You don't want to, you don't want to do it. But she likes it very much and she plays and she does also other things with chess and she does lots of other things besides chess. And I, this is what I really think that um, in life is good to do a lot of things, but chess should be one of them if you like it. Mm. That's perfect. But tell me, after games, do the three of you sit down and analyze as well? Uh, we, 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 um, we sit down, but we analyze part of the games, not the whole games, because I realize that I normally like to go through my game very thoroughly afterwards, but I need to have energy for the next game. So I make it more briefly during the tournament. Mm. And now you mentioned the social part of Gibraltar Chess mm. Festival, which is such an integral part of this event. Um, and we are doing so many different things. This has also grown over the years. Which one, you have seen them all, which one is something that you enjoy the most? Oh, um, normally, I, I like very much the uh, battle of sexes. It is it's, it's very, it's very, very, very happy. And uh, I like also when you have these keys with questions and when you have master classes, of course. Now, this is very, very nice because I really like to see the strong players and when you can hear their ideas and they're speaking about their games. So this is what I like most for me because normally I don't play uh, the blitz or patches. But it's more because I want to keep the energy for the games. I, if I start playing in the evening, I will have difficult to sleep. But I, I like to go and see when others are playing. But, but I think um, this idea to have a lot of different social um, program, it's, it's very important because um, some people come only for the chess, but lots of people also come for the good atmosphere and you meet friends. And this is a way that you uh, get to know other players too. So, yeah, it's just very, very lovely, and it has been growing, and every year it's something new, it becomes better, so just fantastic. Mm. Well, it's absolutely lovely to have you here with us, and we wish you all the best for the remaining rounds, and look forward to having you back with us. Thank you for your time, Pia. Thank you. Thank you.